Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to do a review of the Cronus Invasion Wrath Expansion. Now we play the base game and we play some of the uh, expansion cards or implement some of the stages. Um, so for the most part, it's um, similar to the base game. It's just as you do different stages and you've completed the base game, you will be implementing these cards into different stages. And they'll say stage one, which I already have the stage one open uh, because today I'm going to have little bags where they have the uh, glue. Um, the stage 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 did have that. Um, they did have it for the uh, stage and the these the campaign cards, uh, but they didn't have it for the actual like uh, defender and action cards. And so I just kept those out knowing that those are these are all the stage one. And so pretty much, uh, like I said, you implement, um, there's 410 new cars in the expansion and they're beautifully illustrated. Um, they do different things than the uh, base game. They also are a lot harder. Um, like um, the events also, one thing I didn't like about the base game, the Expansions kind of still do that, um, where it punishes the person who's in charge, who's on top. Um, just like here's two of the events for stage one: player with the most kills must place one random card from their hand in another player's hand. And here's the second one of the events: player with the most kills must place one non-terror card from their hand to another player's hand. So still punishing the player who's winning, and that's how I lost the game, although I was winning throughout the game. And so that aspect of the game, I still do not enjoy uh, because it it targets the, the person who's pretty much winning at all times. And if you're playing smart and you're winning throughout the game, it's just going to keep punishing you. And so uh, great expansion. Um, a lot of cards to implement, uh, great design. And so we're just gonna jump it right into the review. Uh, so this is an expansion. So this is more of a uh, basic review, I guess, because it's just implementing new cards, new events. And so we'll just talk about what's in the expansion that you know uh, elevates the, the base game. And so you have turn overview, you have more invaders. Uh, Invaders, invaders do a lot, like attacking players, choosing a player, and gain all terror cards from that player's hand. And then uh, attacking player gains one terror card for every two invaders they have defeated. And so the invaders do do a lot more. Uh, and then you have attacking player, so pretty much it's the same. And then I already showed the events. Um, there's also the campaign that you get to choose from or pretty much you want to get determined on what characters you're attacking. And so here we have uh, Blessed. We have Mutual Genius. Which discarding number of Defender cards gain two, plus two cards to your hand per... So, I would say that um, with 410 cards, uh, there are a, quite a bit of the same card, uh, like I say right here, like the Centurion, you would see like almost 40, but there are different cards as you go to different stages. Um, here, I'll show this one, stage five. Ah, stuck in the, okay. So here we have events. Okay, that's the event one. And so each different stage you will be implementing different things, sometimes events, sometimes defenders, sometimes uh, it's just determined on what, here's more cards, which will be the defender invaders. Here we have uh, more 
invaders and stuff. Here we have the, uh, I think this is the same as this, which is the invaders. Yeah, that's what. So great expansion. It just uh, adds a lot more replayability because once you're done with all these, you can actually make your own uh, game set uh, with all the different cards. And so it's totally replayable and you will have a multitude of different cards that you'll be able to uh, you know, play with and pretty much make your own game. Um, some of the cards are just really neat the way they're designed. Uh, let me show this one. So I really like the Lion Lord. That is one of the coolest card design I've seen in a long time. And so we'll just go into the review. So for value of what you get, I would say probably like eight out of 10 uh, because the expansion is quite expensive as well. So eight out of 10. Uh, so implementation to the uh, base game, I would give it like a, you know, four out of five. Um, it's really good. I just wish that they implemented more um, different type of, type of event cards to set punishing the leader all the time. Um, that gets a little frustrating because then you have to play, you can't like try to dominate all the time. Uh, so four out of five. Um, design, I would give it like five out of five. The, I actually like the design of these cards more. So five out of five in the design. Uh, so for mechanics, um, you know, implemented to the base game, I would give it like a 4.5 out of five. Uh, I love some of the new mechanics and the events. Um, great. I, I, the, the events, um, I wish, like I said, I wish that they implemented different events that didn't punish like the leader all the time. I know I'm kind of hard on that, but that's a little frustrating. Okay, so, um, so overall total, um, I guess this is just the expansion. Overall total, I would get like a 4.5 out of 5. Um, like 8.5 out of 10 because it does implement a lot of new cards and I like how you could uh you know attack the different stages and you know it adds different elements to different stages it's it's like always a new game and then the 13th you um have like really cool uh cards um that save for last uh so great expansion if you have the base game um I would definitely look at the expansion because it will elevate the game a lot more. Um, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you want to leave comments, please leave a comment down below. I'm going to have a link of where to buy the expansion and we'll see you in the next video.